What's up guys, Coach Steve here and in this video I'm going to take you through a short presentation to help you answer the question of which program should I choose. I'll be going through some of the features of the training plans and the nutrition plans from our, our programs. But first, to answer this question, you need to ask yourself a couple of questions. The first one being is, what is your goal? The program that you choose is going to be dependent on your goal and our programs are based around two different goals one being weight loss and the other one being muscle gain. Both these goals aren't in silos, they're not completely on their own. So if you're following a weight loss program, you might see some muscle gain. And if you're following a muscle gaining program, you might see some weight loss, but our primary, primary goals are either weight loss or muscle gain. The next question to ask yourself is what do you enjoy? We know that adherence is the most important factor to any training program. You might have the best training program in the world for you, but if you don't like doing what's on the program, you're not going to follow it. So if you love doing cardio and your program has strength training, maybe that program isn't match for you. Or on the other side, if you love doing strength training, but you hate doing cardio and your program has cardio, uh, there might be a mixed match of expectations and you won't adhere to that program. The third thing to consider is what have you done previously and is it time to try something new? So in contrast to what I've just said, if you love doing cardio and have only ever done cardio and you look a certain way and you want to make a change now, maybe it's time to try something different, different so that you can see the effects of that change. If you've been following a weight loss program, maybe it's time to do a muscle gain program and then do a weight loss program after that. So as we cycle between our programs. So let's go through some of our programs and we're going to start with our nutrition plans. So looking at this flow chart here, we can see at the very top we've got our goal. The goal is split up into two different pathways being weight loss or muscle gain or maintenance. On the weight loss side of things, we have our Maxine's tone and shape, that's for girls, and we have Max's lean and ripped, which is for guys. Both these programs are designed in a similar way, so they're designed to put you in an energy deficit meaning that it's ideal for fat loss. In the contrast with our muscle gain or weight um, maintenance, we have our Maxine's Get Strong and our Max's Build Size and Strength. So this is designed in a similar way to put most of us at an energy balance so that our weight may not change throughout the challenge or at a slight energy surplus so that if anything we might see some weight gain. So if you're following one of these programs, um, it is ideal for muscle building and for strength gains. So if your goal is more performance orientated, you might want to be choosing more of this weight gain, weight maintenance, but if your goal is mainly weight loss, we want to be following um, either our Maxine's Tone and Shape or our Max's Lean and Ripped. Talking about our training programs now, so within our weight loss category, our weight loss goal, we have our two pathways, which is our uh, Maxine's Tone and Shape and our Max's Lean and Ripped. There's three levels for our training programs, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Now these levels are more closely linked to our training age and aren't really linked to the difficulty. For example, both a beginner program and an advanced program would have a squat in there. But you could appreciate the difference between a body weight squat, maybe on a beginner program, to a, um, a two times body weight squat on an advanced program. So if you're squatting 200 kilos, um, that's going to be difficult if you follow the beginning program or the advanced program, right? You choose your own intensity for the program and ultimately choose the difficulty for each program. The main difference between a beginner, intermediate, and advanced is the volume uh, prescription. So there's more volume and more training days in the advanced compared to the beginner. And there's more complicated um, theories behind periodization where beginner is a little bit more linear um, and the advanced is a little bit more undulating as it changes through. Within our strength and muscle gaining programs. Um, similarly, we have our beginner, intermediate and advanced programs and we have our Get Strong for the girls and then the Max's Size and Strength for, for the guys and they're both designed in a similar way again um, with uh, slight differences in volume prescription between the beginner, intermediate and advanced and exactly the same. Um, a beginner program is for someone who's you know brand new to, to training and an advanced program might be for someone who's trained for, for quite some time. You can't expect to get uh, better results just because you're following an advanced program versus a beginner program. 
We also have some specialty training programs. So the first specialty program can be found under our weight loss category. So you can see that we've got our tone and shape down, lean and ripped. And if you sign up for those programs, you'll have access to our Get Fit and Healthy program. The Get Fit and Healthy program is a cardio-based program designed to help you improve your cardiovascular fitness. There's two pathways within Get Fit and Healthy. So there's a cash to 5K, so someone who's done no running and you'd like to get off the couch and run a 5K, this is the program for you. And we've also got a half marathon program. So if someone um, you know, enjoys running, this program is for you and we can build you up to a half marathon or you could double it and do a full marathon following that program. But this Get Fit and Healthy program um, will be found under the Tone and Shape or the Lean and Rip program. Within our muscle and strength gaining programs, um, we have four specialty programs. So specialty programs, we have our Booty Builder, Legendary Legs, Program X, and Ultimate Arms. Now, these programs, um, are designed so that you can build certain areas of your body. So the Booty Builder is designed to build your glutes, legendary legs to build your legs, program X to build your chest, back and shoulders to create that X shape, and then ultimate arms to build your arms. So you can see that we have two lower body based specialty programs and two upper body based specialty programs. So these specialty programs are for that intermediate to advanced like trainee um, who might identify that there's certain areas in their body might be lagging or they might want to build that area for their own interests, which are totally fine. These programs will be housed underneath the Build Size and Strength or the Maxine's Get Strong program. So you'll have access to these programs if you sign up to either the Size and Strength or the Get Strong. Now let's look at the volume distribution of these programs. So you can see these spider graphs here outline the differences in volume. So if we look right in the middle, we have our Get Strong and Build Size and Strength programs. And you can see that the volume distribution progresses. So the blue being week uh, one and then the green being week four. So you can see that it slowly increases over, over the week. And the Get Strong and the Build Size and Strength is quite a balanced program. Um, despite uh, li limited calf work in that program there, um, it's quite a balanced and um, all-rounder like program. You can see on the Ultimate Arms, a lot more skewed to upper body training. Program X, a little bit differently skewed in upper body, going towards the more chest and back training. Legendary Legs, lots of hamstrings and quadriceps and the Booty Builder, lots of glute work for the, build, the Booty Builder there. Now let's talk about some frequently asked questions that we get a lot. So firstly, can I change my program? Yes, you can change your program. You have up until week four to swap and change between programs. Now, commonly, uh, people go through cycles of program hopping where they never actually complete a program. They do one week of one program, jump to another program, jump to another program, and this is found across the entire fitness industry, not just the challenge. And we face problems, because I want you to imagine like you're on a path somewhere, you have road A or road B, right? You start walking down road A for 10 minutes, you realize it's not for you, you turn around, come back to the start. You then walk down road B for 20 minutes, realize it's not for you, come back to the start. You've raced an hour already, right? You might've spent that time walking all the way to um, road A, figuring out that that's really not for you, rather than just walking down that pathway and not finding out what's on the end of that path, okay? So my big suggestion for you is just to pick a program, follow it to week 12, experiment the effects and figure out what actually happens when you complete a program fully, which is why uh, we don't allow you to change program after week four, um, so you need to decide and choose one. There's always chance and, and time in the future to do other programs, so just because you've done one program doesn't mean you're gonna miss out on other programs. Can I mix and match programs? Yes, uh, you can, but you may not achieve the goal of each program. So some of you might be looking at uh, doing the weight loss nutrition plan and then the muscle gaining training plan. And you might be thinking that you figured out the holy grail of training where you can build muscle and lose weight at the same time. Um, but what it tends to happen is you end up doing completely opposite goals and not support the objectives of each goal and not really get anywhere. Um, so if your goal is to build muscle, you're going to need to eat to build muscle. And if your goal is to lose weight, you're going to need to train in a way to lose weight. The only um, caveat there is that if you thoroughly dislike 
cardio-based training and you enjoy strength training and you still wanted to lose weight, you can go down that pathway. Um, if you wanted to build, mu build muscle, you're going to need to do resistance training. You can't use cardio to build muscle. Can you build muscle while in a weight loss program? Um, muscle gain is likely to occur if you're a beginner. So if you're brand new to fitness, you're just looking at a barbell, you're going to start building muscle. Um, or if you've had time off for training, either because you know life gets in the way, you've had kids, you've moved house, you've been disinterested in fitness, whatever reason, or you've had an injury. So if you are coming back to training, you kind of go through this beginner gains program um, and you end up building some muscle quite quickly. If you've been training for a long time, let's say you know, more than a year or two, uh, you're unlikely to consider, continue to see muscle growth while on a weight loss program. If anything, you might start seeing muscle loss on a weight loss program. So this is why if you want to gain muscle, you're going to need to eat in a surplus. If you're someone who's quite lean, that might mean that you put on a little bit of body fat. But that's okay because we kind of go through this bulking cycle and then a cutting cycle. Okay. Can you lose weight on a muscle building program? Um, you can see improvements in your body composition. So if we looked at maybe a balance here where our muscle mass is this hand here and then our body fat is here. On a weight loss program, we find that our body fat reduces but then our muscle mass slowly follows that, right? Uh, similarly, if we're on a muscle building program, where our muscle mass starts to increase, but then our body fat might follow. So you might see improvements in your body composition, which is the fat to muscle mass ratio. So you might find muscle mass going, you might see there's a bit of a lag in that um, fat gain. So then you end up being in a better overall body composition, even if you might gain a small amount of body fat, and you might even see the scales increase, but your overall appearance improves. Weight loss in general is unlikely in a muscle building program such as the Get Strong or the um, Build Size and Strength program. So there you go, guys. That's a brief overview of our training and nutrition plans. Hopefully this helps to give some clarity, but remember that you just ultimately need to choose one. Within fitness, we're all going towards north. We're all heading in the same direction. We're all improving our fitness and our health and our quality of life. Um, but we're not going to get north if we're just staying in one spot. So make a decision, choose one, follow that for 12 weeks, um, and then hopefully you come back and join us and follow a different program and or maybe even continue along that path if you enjoyed it. There's um, Fitness is for life and you know this is just a 12-week process. So I'll catch you in the next chapter.